Good morning from beautiful Cappadocia. Cappadocia. I'm so excited to be here. We're very jet lagged. We just spent, I don't know, like 24 hours from Toronto to Istanbul to Cappadocia and we had to spend the night in Istanbul. But we're finally here in beautiful Cappadocia and we're staying in, what's the place called again? Gorami. Gorami, the village of Gorami, where a lot of, if not all, the um, hot air balloons take off. We're gonna go on a tour. I had my coffee, so I'm good to go. Cappadocia, here we come! Peace. We're in Pashaba, one of the um, chimney fairy areas, and this place is well known because their chimney fairies actually look like you know, animals. Some people think they see camels, um, some of them look like uh, ducks. And other people think they look like phallic symbols. I personally think a lot of them look like phallic symbols. But in any case, um, it's also known for housing St. Simon. He came here to Cappadocia and he actually lived in this chimney fairy. I don't even feel like I'm on Earth anymore. I feel like I'm in so on some other planet. These amazing structures are as a result of millions of years of volcanic eruptions, winds, and rain. This is one of the most awe-inspiring places we've ever seen. Hermit monks carved shelters in the rock during early Christian times when they were hiding from the Romans. The soil is quite soft, so people were able to carve houses, churches, and underground cities in the region for thousands of years. So we're now here at the Open Air Museum, and it is a sight to see. Um, our tour guide was explaining to us that it used to be a monastery, so the beginning of the Christian religion, Christians were persecuted because the Roman Empire was not Christian yet. So they, they built monasteries, they built homes, there's a whole underground city in, uh, in Cappadocia, and I believe they said there are 28 monasteries and but eight only eight is accessible to to um to tour guys right now it's it's amazing what people can build and what people can do when they need to while we were walking around and enjoying the history of the place we got stopped a few times and asked to take selfies with us we're still not sure why okay, we're, we're taking a lot of selfies <laughs> okay so we're gonna go into one of the monasteries actually it's called saint Basil. So let's go check that out. These frescoes are from the 4th century, made by the early Christians who took refuge in these areas. So if you do come to Cappadocia, I would recommend that you bring or you wear running shoes very steep it's not too too bad i don't have my running shoes because we lost our luggage um but it would be much better if we had running shoes on losing your running shoes in your luggage suck it really sucks hopefully it comes today but i see some girls in like really nice dresses and heels i guess they're taking photos for instagram that's my assumption um i don't know how they are working it on these cobblestones and these steep Oh, hilly areas but anyways straight down, straight down. Okay. all for the gram i guess and okay, we lost our tour guide they're not giving us enough time in these places we're getting like an hour here or 45 minutes okay good we found them our next stop was in a town called avanos the town of Ivano is set by the Red River, which has supplied this region with the red clay they use to make these beautiful works of art. Pottery in this region has been made the same way since the time of the Hittites, since around 2000 BC. We were also able to check out a demonstration on how they make their pottery, a technique that hasn't changed for thousands of years. This girl decided to try her hand in making pottery. No comments. <laughs> After the tour was over, we stopped by this guy's ice cream stand to check out the show he was putting on. So it's been a long day. We had a blast. So we're getting ready to pack it in. See you later. 
We finally have checked in, so we just want to show you our beautiful room at Elise Cave House Hotel. So this is the bedroom. I guess this is this is stone. Has a nice cave feeling. Um, I love this light. I love 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 this light. I have to get it cheaper because we were in a glass store and it was like sixty or eighty Canadian, the equivalent of. I don't want to spend that. I want to get a bargain. And this is the second bedroom slash sitting area. We're getting a lot of light from this window here, but when it gets dark, when at nighttime, I know it's gonna be dark in here, but it gives that nice cave-like feeling, which is fine. It's a different experience than we've ever had before in a hotel, so looking forward to it. It's pretty cool. And the room is echoey. I can hear echo. In any case, if the kids were with us, they could sleep on these beds, but they're gonna be our couch for our time here. Go we'll and get some dinner and continue enjoying Cappadocia. So we'll see you later. So we're here at Sadef restaurant. As you can see, I'm holding the menu. It's a good Pretty look Pretty nice looking menu. Look at that, leather bound. Wow. I'm gonna look for the menu. I want to try something different, something very local. Okay, so Patrick's gonna try the beef. That's terrific. Yeah. So Jackie, what are you trying right now? I'm going to try the lamb. And what else do I have here? I have some mixed vegetables. I have some diced onions here. And some apple tea. We had this this morning on one of our um, walking tours and it was so good. That's good. Just good? Very good? No, or it's very good. Nicely flavored. And they have this green, this grilled pepper. Is it hot? Um, I don't know. Gonna find out. Oh, yeah. Hot pepper. Oh. Well, I need to try that. Okay. I'm a pepper you dude, so that, excellent. And they have this like chip thing. Is it like a pita? It's almost like a pita. Um, so we don't eat bread, but. We're in Turkey. I'm going to try it. Mm. Good? What did you... I, I dipped it in the yogurt. Okay. Mm. And it's very, very, very flat. Okay. Very good. After dinner, we did a bit of window shopping around the area, admiring the local rugs and earthenware in the shops. They found out that we are from Canada, and they assumed that we spoke French. But, um, no. We don't. But one of them did. speak French? He's staying in French. Oh, uh, I guess he didn't believe us that we didn't actually speak enough French to have a conversation. No, no, no more, no more, no more. Talking to the shop owners was fun, but there was no way we were bringing these carpets home. So we just chatted with them for a while as they tried to bargain with us. I was born on the carpet. Mm. My father generation, generation business. Okay. Generation business, carpet. So today was day one in Cappadocia and I have to say we had a wonderful time. It was really busy. We were kind of jet lagged, really jet lagged. Really jet lagged. Um, it's been... I would say 24 hours since we left. Since we left home, eh? Left home. Yeah, yeah. Of course, we've taken a lot of pictures with uh, a lot of other people. And one little girl asked if I was from Africa. So, um, not a lot of black people here, but that's okay. The people are very friendly, very nice. And for all you black folks that are watching, we're representing the world. <laughs> Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification button for upcoming videos of Turkey and more. Until next time, we wish you happy travels.